Hey, what's going on, y'all? So in this video, we're going to be taking a look at the Unreal Engine 5 Preview 2 connector for NVIDIA Omniverse. So with that being said, I have here an empty project that I just created in Unreal Engine Preview 2. And what we'll do now is just go to the NVIDIA Omniverse launcher. If I go to the exchange right here and I go to connectors, you're going to see that they have an Unreal Engine 5 Preview 2 version now. Now what's cool about this is I obviously have some Unreal Engine 5 environments that I am trying to merge over to NVIDIA Omniverse. So with that being said, for this tutorial, what I'm going to show you is is how you can easily import an FBX scan file from wherever store you bought it from. And then what we're gonna do is merge it into NVIDIA Omniverse Machinima. So let's get started. And then the actual connector is right here, Epic Games Unreal Engine 5 connector. You're gonna see that this is for preview two. So you can see right here, it was released about last week and I was playing around with it a little bit. Now I already have it installed as you can see right here, but if you haven't done so, all you have to do is install and it's going to install it in your Unreal Engine 5 preview two plugins folder. And if I go right here in the Unreal Engine 5, you're gonna see that we have this Omniverse icon right here. So I already have my Nucleus set up. If you haven't done yours, go ahead and check out this playlist that I'm gonna put in the description below because it's gonna show you how to install NVIDIA Omniverse from scratch. So mine's already set up. I'm gonna add the server. I'm gonna add the content browser and it's gonna pop up right here. And as you can see here, the bottom right, it says it's already connected online because I do have mine set up. So you can see right here, all right, so there goes all my folders. We're good to go. And then I'm going to start a brand new level and I'll create a new folder. So this is where we're gonna be putting the asset that I got from the scan library. I'm gonna choose LOD zero right here. Drag that FBX is okay. And let's go ahead and build the Nanite right here because the connector for Unreal Engine 5 Preview 2 actually supports Nanite now. So I'll click this right here and import. So we have the cliff now here and it has a material. So I'll drag and drop it right now. And I will just kind of move it around so I can kind of see it. And obviously we, <laughs> I have it kind of lit and it's dark in there and there's nothing, but that's okay. Cause we're going to set up the materials as well. So you can see the mesh is already there, but the material is not set up yet, but that's okay. We'll take, we'll take care of that right now. We need albedo, AO, let's see, normal and roughness, specular. And I'll drag and drop those. Okay, so once that's imported, let's go ahead and drag the textures in. Base color, ambient occlusion, normal map, got roughness, and we have spec. Uh, here, sorry, I can't see it's really small. Save it. Okay, so I will minimize this. And as you can see, we have textures in there now. Okay, and after that, if I go to Unlit, and I'm gonna go to Nanite Visualizations, Triangle, so you're gonna see that this is Nanite right here. So that's good. And I will go ahead and press Control shift s That's gonna save my level here. If I go to Unlit, you're gonna see that it is there. Now, I deleted everything because I don't want any lights or anything like that to transfer because I usually light inside NVIDIA Omniverse. So usually uh, if you're gonna do this, again, this is just my opinion, I just import the mesh or, and, and pretty much the 3D objects. I don't use any of the lights. So to merge this to NVIDIA Omniverse is really easy. If I go right here, export level to NVIDIA Omniverse, you're now gonna see the setting right here, export nanite high poly detailed mesh. Music we will check that. Insane. And I usually just leave everything by default. Now, one of the questions I get about this process is do I have to manually assign the materials and translate them whenever I import it uh, to a NVIDIA Omniverse? And the, to answer that question, absolutely not. It does this automatically and you're gonna see that here in a second. So I'm going to press okay and I'm gonna go to my local host. I am gonna go with my account here and let's just go to the desert one. And I'll title this I connector. Connector is okay. Cause this is, the, this is the tutorial. I'm going to save it now. And as you can see, this is gonna be exporting the static mesh and the material as well. Okay, so once that's over, that took maybe like 12 seconds, I can now go to NVIDIA and I'm going to my library now, go to Machinima and I'm going to launch it. Now this is still a 2021 to one release. There is supposed to be one uh, coming out pretty soon. So I can't wait for that to come out because I'm gonna make another video for that as well. There's some pretty cool options and features that they just added with a new version. 
So we'll wait for this to open up and we can continue with our tutorial. Okay, so I will make this bigger here and we're going to go to my Omniverse folder and we're gonna find that folder where we saved that, it's desert. I find that, I think I named it connector. If I go right here, and double click this or I can click and drag it in there if I want to. This is now going to import that mesh that we exported out of Unreal Engine. And as you can see in the bottom right corner right now, this is going to be assigning that material automatically. I didn't do anything. I just opened it and it's already here. So I will just kind of move it here and WASD, right click WASD my way around. And I'll rotate this now like so. And I can turn on path tracing if I want to, to get a little bit more you know, detail. I just love path tracing, it's so addicting. And to uh, kind of see this in a lighting scenario, I can you know, just open up a sky HDRI so you can kind of see that. And you're gonna see that it's gonna constantly change along with that sky HDRI. And again, this is pretty amazing looking. Okay, so what I'll do is I'll go to windows and statistics and change this to RTX scene right here. You're gonna see that we have one mesh imported in the scene and it's about 64,000 triangles. Now what I'm going to do is double check that in the Unreal Engine 5 project. Double click right here and double click the static mesh and you're gonna see that is Nanite Triangle 64,802. So it matches, I was able to import it uh, in the NVIDIA Omniverse in the Nanite setting. So again, that is truly incredible because that is pretty high quality. And that's pretty much it. That is how you use the NVIDIA Omniverse connector for the Unreal Engine 5 Preview 2. Like always, if y'all have any questions, let me know. And please do not forget to check out the playlist that I created for NVIDIA Omniverse. And I'm going to continue creating tutorials for you all so you can be familiar with NVIDIA Omniverse uh, software.